like to set the record straight. One of the pictures Professor Duncan showed was when Waki was founded in 2007. It was this government, the predecessor of this government that was in power. We seriously believe that there is no distinction or choice between primary or basic education and tertiary education. All are equally important. And our government has put in place a system to fund and reform both sectors equally and even secondary. One of the first jobs the president entrusted me when I became a minister of education is to try and promote centers of excellence in Ghana and in Africa. He sent me on a program in Kenya where Ghana formally accepted to become members of PASET. PASET being Partnership for Skills and Applied Sciences, Engineering and Technology, which is into research and education and promotion of centers of excellence across Africa in the training and promotion of PhD students. The aim is to train over 200 PhD students. This is not a government that is anti-education or tertiary education. The next, he sent me to UNESCO to make sure that Ghana becomes not only a member of AIMS, African Institute of Mathematical Sciences, but to move us into a category two of UNESCO, which gladly we have become. Replicate through our manifesto is our intention to promote education, education, education. Education for all the sectors of economy, not leaving any one aside. So we are in the establishment of STEM centers, centers of excellence for STEM around the country, and our manifesto promised 10, one in every region. Today, as we speak, there's a delegation going to one of our agricultural colleges in Bunsu, uh, with our sisters from Korea to transform Bunsu to become one of the campuses of the University of Environment and Sustainable Development. Interestingly, the, the center we want to establish in Bunsu is about agri and agribusiness, engineering and technology with our sisters from Korea. This is not a government that is anti-tertiary education. Besides, besides, we intend, we intend funding faculty development through Get Fund. And we are in talks with the National Council for Tertiary Education to fund faculty development in tertiary institutions. This is not a government in against tertiary education. But what the president says that our universities are not bringing out graduates that are equally suited for the employment sector. He has a point there. The Association of Ghana, Association of Industry is complaining, yesterday we had a meeting with them, that our graduates are not fit for employment. So the president is not say, saying anything different. Uh, they claim that there are a lot of work, but our graduates are not suited. What the president was saying that university education must train you and prepare you for the world of work. This is totally different from being anti-tertiary education. So I want to reassure Waki that we don't only want to see Waki or three of the 21 centers of excellence. Ghana wants to see many more Wakis in other sectors. Another picture Professor Danko showed who touched me uh, was the three H's, the head, the heart, and the hands to do with education. The head certainly is tertiary education. And the many more PhDs we have, the better for the country. Uh, the president said in that same speech that was quoted that the, the the shortest route out of our economic dependence, uh, the shortest route through economic development is through higher education. The more PhDs we have, the more people are the centers of research innovation, the more the country benefits. One innovation from Ghana can transform the economy of the country. So we are into supporting and sustaining higher education into the country.